Hello and welcome to episode six of the Breaking Yarn podcast. Today is Saturday, April 3rd, 2021. My name is McKaylee. I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm a knitter, crocheter, yarn dyer. And today I have um, four works in progress to show you. Um, a new colorway that I just launched in my shop and a project from the community. And also I will announce the giveaway winner from last episode. You can find me online at breakingyarn.com. That's the name of my shop. Or you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, um, at Breaking Yarn. I also have a Ravelry group for this podcast. Um, if you want to share any of your projects that you've made with my yarn or using my patterns. Um, you can post them in the group there and be featured here on the podcast and on my social channels. So let's jump into my first work in progress. This one you've seen a few times. It's in a bag by Carrie of Stolen Minutes. And it is my winter trellis, uh, winter trellis. <gasps> It's my summer trellis. <laughs> she just came out with a winter trellis um, sweater. This is my summer trellis though. Oops, that green, gotta get that out of there. So there's the yoke I did. I'm doing a fade. And then this was my prog progress from last episode. Not a ton and I'll explain why. So just about an inch or so of knitting there. Not a lot. This project definitely took a hit um, from some of my other projects, so, and I'll talk about that. Um, but the yarn I'm using for this is um, I bought yarn from Knit Picks um, when it was on sale, the Precosa base. And that's a 100% merino wool, non-superwash. Um, and I dyed it using Kool-Aid. The whole yoke is done using a cherry, the cherry Kool-Aid. And then down here, this is black cherry and one grape. So that's the color that I'm currently working on. And I hope to start the grape maybe when I get to like here. Um, I just tried it on, um, I believe, this week or last week? I think it was this week. And I thought it would be bigger, but it was only like up to my ribs. So I still have a little bit of ways to go. I still have some more black cherry yarn. I'm pretty decent amount there. And then I'll move into this cherry. I mean, I'm sorry. I'll move into this grape one that I dyed as well. So I'll fade into this one um, and then That'll be it, yeah. So I'm excited about that. Oh, and let me move my progress keeper. Not that I made that much progress last episode, but I like to keep track. And it's really motivating to me to see how much progress I have made on a project each week or each time. So that's my winter, or I keep saying winter, summer trellis. Okay, and my second work in progress that I have, let me show this one first. This is um, in a bag that my mom made for me. She put breaking yarn on there and it's just a little drawstring bag. This is my husband's Musselberg hat that I'm knitting. This is by a pattern by Solda Teague. And this is the progress that I made since last episode. I was up here and now I've done all that. So a decent amount. I was really hoping to get this done um, for this episode so I could have a finished object, but it just didn't it just didn't work out. Um, I still have I still have quite a quite a bit of yarn. I need to weigh it so that I can see um, when I need to start doing my decreases. But this is my Jane Margolis colorway and the yarn is the, or the base is the quarter round fingering base. 
and I'm using my Chow Gu Red Lace Interchangeable Set. And I'm just going round and round, so that's really easy. No magic loop or anything anymore. Until I get to the decreases, then I'll have to probably switch back to magic loop to do that. But yeah, I'm loving how it's turning out. Um, I think it'll be a really nice classic hat for him. This is for my husband. I think I mentioned that. I've never knit my husband anything before, so this will be um, nice to be able to give him. There's that. My next work in progress is in a bag from Jenny of Mountain State Stitches. I snagged this at her um, two updates ago. I snagged it. I just loved the black and white print and the drawstring. It's just really, it's a cute bag. And honestly, this project is probably too big for the bag, but I just loved it so much. I didn't really mind. So this is my test knit that I'm doing for Gel of Knit Sisu. And this is the Local Yarn Store Day Shawl. So let me show you. So last episode I was down here and I had just done just a few sections. And then now I've done the stripes, another solid section, the eyelets with the ribbing section, and I'm into the textured portion. And I am loving this pattern. It is so fun and engaging. And you'll see I have this extra green um, because I did a lifeline in between the sections. This one was a little bit more difficult for me. It has a stitch I've never done before. And I didn't want to um, have to, I didn't want it to be difficult if I needed to rip it back. So um, that's why there's an extra green <laughs> string coming out of there. There's a lot of ends. I have not woven in any of my ends. I usually wait until the very end of the project to do that. Um, so this is very fun. It's going to come out on April 17th, so which is local yarn store day. So keep your eyes peeled for this pattern. It's really fun. It's a boomerang shaped shawl, which is um, cool because I've never done that before too. Um, yeah, and the yarn I'm using for this is the Mystery Skeins in DK weight from Mandy's Makings. This is the tag for that. Mandy's. And I'm using the colorways Caribbean Way, Green Subway Tile, and Rose. And I'm just loving um, how they are knitting up together. I think it's a really playful, like good springtime shawl. So I'm excited. Um, I need to get this finished. My deadline is April 15th. So hopefully by next episode, I will have a finished object, at least one to share with you. I have been spending a lot of time on this one because it does have a deadline and the other ones do not. So yeah. It's really fun and I'm enjoying it a lot. My final work in progress is in this cute little project bag that my friend Leah made for me. It's a little zip and it's even lined. Isn't that so cute? And we just started our share pair set. Also from Mandy's Makings. This is the um, Mardi Gras beads. Why isn't this focusing here? There we go. This is Mardi Gras beads share a pair set. Here's the other one. I have not started that, that one yet. And this is a fingering. Let's see. It's a 70% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 10% silver stellina. And the share pair set is each, um, so it comes with four skeins of 50 grams each. So one person gets 
two 50 gram skeins and the other person gets the other 52 gram skeins and they match and then you um, knit a pair of socks that are um, well you just knit them at the same time they don't have to they don't have to be um, the same matching sock but I think we're gonna try to match ours I think she's doing um, this is my friend Leah she's gonna do different um, heels, toes, and cuffs on each sock, and I'm going to try to match mine as much as I can with, um, matching heels, toes, and cuffs. I, um, am kind of a failed sock knitter. <laughs> um, confession time, right? I've knit one and a half pairs of socks. Um, I've tried... Um, cuff down. I finished those ones. I had the help of my friend Ruth um, and that was fine. I did not know to count rows instead of measuring because they don't um, measure right. Like they don't match. Um, as far as length goes, they're just a little off. It's fine. Um, but I really want them to match and, you know, be in nice quality, especially since I'm using nice yarn for it. Um, so that was my first pair that I did. The second pair that I did, I tried doing toe up and two at a time um, under the direction of my friend Lisa. Um, and it wasn't, I just get super bored. I don't know. So, and I didn't finish them. I got like most of the foot done since I was doing toe up. I did most of the foot and then I kind of just pooped out as around the time I had my baby and Lisa was like, do you want me to finish them for you? <laughs> so I was like, yes, please. So she finished the socks for me. So I do have two finished pairs of socks, but I've only knit one and a half pairs of socks. Um, so I'm attempting to try it again. I'm trying to do cuff down again and I'm gonna follow the um, crazy sock ladies, um, pattern, the vanilla socks on nine inch circulars, circulars. <laughs> um, and I'm hoping that the nine inch helps me because I'm not a huge, um, fan of the magic loop or, and I've never tried DPNs. So I'm hoping that that works. I did buy this little chow gu um, needle set. It's four nine inch circulars. So it's so tiny. I can't even like every time I look at it, I'm like, these are so tiny. Um, but I'm using size one, 2.25 milliliter millimeters on mine. And it comes with different cables and everything as well. So you can kind of make it a little bit longer than nine inch if you want. Oh, if, if anybody knows, I haven't looked it up. But if anybody knows what you use the longer ones for, like that are on the top row, if you have this set and you know what you use those for, can you please let me know? <laughs> I'm so curious, but I don't know what they're for. So hopefully I like knitting socks on nine inch circulars because I just bought an entire set of them. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that may be the difference for me just because with with um, Magic Loop, it's a little more fiddly for me, like, you know, and I'm a tight knitter, so that probably is probably why um, it's so harder for, like, harder for me to do it, because, like, pulling the the needle out and going in, it's just, like, not smooth for me at all, and I'm having to, like, move the stitches on my needles a lot, and I think I just get kind of, like, frustrated, and it's just, I don't know. And I'm also hoping that the striping, we're going to do stripes um, like the Crazy Sock Lady tutorial that she just put out for the share pair set. Um, I'm hoping that switching colors every two rounds will also help keep my interest a bit. So that's mostly that. I have part of a cuff done. I think I have about um, four more rows, five, no, six, <laughs> I have six more rows to do. I'm doing a little bit of a shorter cuff because I want to make sure that I have enough of this gray to do the cuff, heels, and toes all matching for both socks. So I'm, I'm going to do a shorter cuff to like help compensate for that. 
So that's what I have so far. Leah and I did a FaceTime last night to cast them on and to knit a little bit. So that was really nice and I hope we can do that some more because I've been missing, um, you know, knit nights and stuff with my friends. And I have, I haven't really, um, I haven't really been super good about joining the online knit groups that they have going right now. And I should, but I just haven't, um, haven't had time. And I also feel like, um, when I do have time to do it, it's going to be like 9 p.m. at night and I'm usually in bed by then or like getting ready to go to bed or knitting for an hour before I go to bed. And um, I just haven't made that effort. And I'm usually not, um, I'm not a night person, just being honest there. So, um, yeah. So keep your eyes on this. Um, there is no deadline for any of my other projects except for my shawl, so that um, will probably get the most focus this next um, couple of weeks um, until that is done, and then I will start finishing some of these other projects. So, and I have some, I have some ideas of what. Um, projects I want to do next. I've been wanting to do the Playtime Shawl by um, Natalie of Knitty Natty and I think I may use my new colorway and stripe another one so we'll see about that. That's a crocheted shawl um, and obviously the socks and then we'll just go from there. So those are all of my works in progress for this time. And I am so happy I have a brand new colorway that just hit the shop today, actually. So when you see this on Monday, it's been out for a few days. Um, and I hope to have enough um, inventory of it so everyone can get some if they want it. This is my brand new colorway called Lily of the Valley. It is inspired by the show Breaking Bad. All of my colorways, minus the broken colors, are inspired by Breaking Bad. I get some funny comments about the names of my um, yarn being interesting, and I think it's because people maybe don't know that my yarn is inspired by Breaking Bad. So all of their the color or all of the um, colors are characters or their um, companies that are inside the show or they're like props like crystal meth and hazmat suit those are like more proppy ones um also lily of the valley is prop uh, proppy as well there's a little plant in walter white's backyard um that he uses in the show i won't spoil that for you if you have not watched um but he uses it and um, this, I wanna say too, is a really nice um, creamy white color. I did a lot of experimenting, um, probably close to 10 skeins of experiments to get to this color. Um, they don't actually make a white dye um to use because white is not actually a color it's the absence of a color so you have to use a different color to get to this color so it's really interesting um and very sciencey <laughs> and it took me a lot of a lot of experiments um i will be i don't know if you can see yeah you can see those there's several over there that will probably be in my um, next update for the experiment section. So if you want some of my experiment ones that aren't exactly white, um, those will be available. So this is, um, again, it's Lily of the Valley. It's out today. So it's now officially a part of the shop and you can get it. And I am just, <sighs> I'm in love. And I've been thinking about all of the different um, colors that I can put with this, all the different combinations. I can do black and white stripes now because I have Jane Margolis. I can do, like I'm obsessed with this, like Jane, Gray Matter, and Lily of the Valley. Like I am just obsessed. I'm probably going to, um, 
probably going to be really playing with a lot of the color combinations that I can do. I was thinking I may do Lily of the Valley with a, um, oh man, even with this, that would be so pretty. Wouldn't that be a pretty shawl? <gasps> this is pink teddy bear. Oh my gosh, I just saw that. And I think this would be like seriously pretty with like anything. There's break, breaking delphinium with the Lily. I showed you gray matter, the hazmat suit. That would be fun. My gosh. I won't show you every single one, but I am obsessed with this color and the possibilities and all the different color combinations that could come out of it. So we'll see. I'll have to see what um, colors I end up picking for that uh, playtime shawl that I want to do once I kind of clear up some of these other whips. So that's my... Um, new colorway. Um, I have finished stocking the worsted weight, so that is all updated on the website. Um, if you were waiting for anything, it's now available. I am just going to be filling in some colorways that have sold out um, in quarter round fingering, and I'm also slowly introducing um, a sock base. It's a 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. And I know that's really popular for knitting socks. Um, so I'm slowly trying to integrate that into the shop as well. You'll see a few colorways that have it. Um, not a lot has it. I've just had a hard time kind of getting caught up um, with work and um, the baby and you know life, normal life stuff. Um, my projects, obviously, I'm knitting a lot in the evenings, um, so, you know, bear with me. If you want something on sock based and I don't have it, just shoot me a DM um, and let me know which colorway you want and I can dye it up for you. So I have two more things. The first one is to show you the project from the community for this episode and then the next one is um, to explain who the giveaway winner is. Okay, so from the community, let me actually, I'm gonna change this up real fast. Um, okay, so the one from the community today is my Lines and Vines shawl, and it's knit by Anne, and she used um, gray matter and breaking black and she also made a few alterations because she wanted to make it for a um, smaller child. She did five of the vines instead of the normal seven. Um, so she cut off two there and then also um, and for the lines instead of doing garter she did stockinette. So I just think that looks really cool. Um, so in order to do stockinette flat, you have to knit one front, you knit the front, and then you purl the back, knit the front, purl the back. And I just love um, how that turned out. So thank you so much, Anne, for sharing that with the community. Um, I can't wait to share with you some other projects that have been coming in um, through the Ravelry group. I'll link that down below in case you wanna share um, your project that you did with breaking yarn or if you knit one of my patterns in any yarn you can also share that there as well. And last but not least is our giveaway winner from last episode, episode 5. Um, I was giving away three um, full skeins of worsted weight. It's non super wash and I have um, just a few colorways of it. It's crystal meth, hazmat suit, breaking violet, gray matter, Pink Teddy Bear and Hank Schrader. And I'm giving away three skeins of any of those combinations of colors. And thank you so much for everyone who participated and commented. I really appreciate the engagement. Um, and I'm so happy that you're here too. But our winner is Allison Nor Norberg. So congratulations, Allison. Please um, send me an email, uh, um, breakingyarn at gmail.com and I will um, get your shipping information and get that sent out to you this week. Um, so thank you for everyone who um, commented. I really appreciate 
you doing that and I also gave away three skeins on Instagram this last week and I um, already shipped those out to the winner that was um, Kathy so congratulations to Kathy on Instagram and um, I will I hope to do more giveaways in the future so please you know be on the lookout for that um, yeah it'll be a fun good time so I think that's it for episode six of the Breaking Yarn podcast. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you later. Bye.